On this show, we want to introduce you to the rising stars of Indian cinema. Names you might not know right now, but we think you're going to hear them a lot in the future. Our pick this month is Hardik Mehta. Hardik is from Vadodara. He grew up in a middle class home on a regular diet of Hindi films. Hardik got a B.Tech degree and even worked as a dairy engineer at an Amul factory in Surat. But then he shifted to his passion, films, and got a communication degree from Jamia Millia Islamia. Hardik started his movie journey as an assistant and script supervisor on films like Lutera and Queen. He went on to co-write Trapped for Vikramaditya Motwani. In 2015, he made Amdavadma famous, a documentary which captured the kite flying festival through the eyes of an 11-year-old kite crazy boy. It won him the national award for best non-feature film. Last year, his first feature, Kamyab, had its premiere at the prestigious Busan International Film Festival. Next, Hardik will be making Ru Afsa, a horror comedy starring Rajkumar Rao, Varun Sharma and Janvi Kapoor in a double role. Hardik, first of all, congratulations on Kamyab. I really, really enjoyed the film. Uh, you wrote this story about a character actor who's uh, desperate to do his 500th role in 2014. Cut to 2018 when the film finally premieres. And here we are 2019 and you're still waiting for a release date. Yeah. Right? Tell me what is the struggle of an artist on the verge of a breakthrough? How do you keep your passion? How do you keep your patience? I think most importantly is that one thing that drives to tell you the story. Like, you know, okay, you, my voice will not start or my uh, formation as an artist will not start if I haven't told this story or if this story is not out of my system huh. yet. You, you know? mean very desperation. Yeah, huh. because it's the thing that you have felt the most at that one point of time. And you have to keep that, uh, you know, that uh, under uh, flaming yeah. thing going on basically. Hmm. So, but 4-5 years you can. Yes, actually, because uh, that's the struggle and during that you are also being engaged into some other f activities around filmmaking. Sure. Like I was making a documentary, then I was making another short fiction, mm. I was co-writing Trapped. So while through that journey, I knew that ultimate aim is Kamiya Banana. Tell me, how did you get your first break? You came here with a degree from Jamia, but, yeah. but you're from Baroda. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming ki you didn't know anyone here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how did you get the first break? I have to thank uh, Mr. Dev Benegal for that. Uh, mm. He had come to Jamia for a script to screen workshop and um, when all students were pitching, he kind of liked my uh, pitch that I had made and um, I was, I have never been a good student but I was a very diligent student in Jamia. And my professors knew that, that so uh, Shoini Ghosh knew that and she I think had a word with Dev Benegal that this boy might be interested in working with you and he was just making a film called Road Movie with Abhay and uh, Sati sir. So uh, I was on that film as a production assistant and there was a US producer hmm. uh, Susan Landau she was here in India for the first time and my job was to carry her still cameras and get her akrot and um, you know in Jaisalmer so that was my job and uh, but during the film uh, and Michelle Amati was shooting who shot Black Cat, White Cat and Life is a Miracle is and I was like oh my god here is this DP you know who, who, whose films you've seen and all of that so uh, that's how I started talking on the set a lot and the, the DOP and the director and everybody realized this is like a mini Godard here like you know who's just speaking nonsense about filmmaking so they said okay come on and don't, don't just be the production assistant be the script uh, continuity person and yeah. you know and that's the how, supervisor yeah script supervisor and huh. they've taught me over uh, weekend off during the shoot and all and that's how we do it. Exactly. And we were being shooting on film at that time, which is 60 seconds, 90 feet being rolled, and 400 feet ka can hai. So we had to keep track on how much footage is being rolled, and for the next take, is there enough footage going to be there inside or not? So all of that, and it was a lot of fun learning that. And post road movie, I had seen Udan, and I was like, I have to work with Vikramaditya. And thankfully, script supervision is a job which not a lot of people do. And somehow I just ended up in his office where uh, Lutera was just about to start and I think then on it kind of so, caught up. Yeah. So you, perhaps not by design but by yeah. chance found the one thing yes. on a film set that not many people do. True, true. And, and you, that led you to more jobs. Exactly. And I think it is also one of the most interesting jobs because if you have learned filmmaking, if you have learned mass communication then you know that you know that that representation of uh, representative of a director and an uh, sorry editor and a writer yeah. on the set is that script uh, person you know correct 
and there that was so You're much You're the to, link yeah. between the editor and the director. And yeah. there was so much to learn because you are right in front of the DP, actor and director where exactly the film is getting made, you know. Yeah. So that uh, became a big uh, school to and also a way out to earn your, uh, you know, earn your bread. Uh, survive here and um, also meet interesting people because everybody would look out for a script supervisor and mm -hmm. you know that would lead me to offices and mm -hmm. get work. Yeah. So you said that what you learned from the Anurag Kashyap school was ki nobody is going to do anything for you. True. That no one's going to come to you and say, Bhaiya, mere ye aap filmmaker hai, ab aap yeah. ek film You yeah. said you have to take the first step. Yeah. But how does a person take that first step to making that first film? Um, what is it that affects you most, you know, um, combine that with the passion that you've always, you know, been ha harboring inside you, you know, uh, also reading Werner Herzog, it really fires you up, you know, that man, Werner Herzog, yeah, he, nobody else, nobody Werner else, Herzog. nobody else, there is a, there, there is so many articles and so many interviews of Werner Herzog and if you just read that, there is a instant fire within you that will arise, like, you know, if this man, at this age, yeah. goes to shoot volcanoes and you know goes he's in amazing. Antarctica and I've stuff had like I've had the pleasure of interviewing him and he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. I mean, yeah. I can't be more jealous of you right now. <laughs> so that actually, and of course, what is the personal story that you want to tell? Hmm. And for me, uh, being this boy who's growing up watching Hindi cinema, I'd always thought about these guys who were on posters. You know, where matlab, okay, I know that Dharmendra ya Mithun hai, huh. but peeche jo matlab, you know Correct. the the all these character actors who were there. I was fascinated about them, like yeah. you know the like Tridev if you watch or like Rajiv Rai movies again, of like they, they had so many of these the layers. Henchmen, huh? henchmen ah, ka layer. But henchmen right? ke bhi layers the. Correct, correct. So, वो एक सबसे important होता था, फिर वो उसके नीचे होते थे. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, by yeah. that time, वो मरेगा, फिर villain मरेगा. Right, right, right. You, know, right, so right. you work your way up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, uh, I mean, that probably was the start uh, of something like Kamyab, and that was also that kept me, मतलब uh, you know, uh, fired up about. Wanting to make this film. So you have the subject, you got the script. Then what is the first step that a first-time filmmaker has to take? Right. There is no... Uh, you have to write it you yourself. You have to write it yourself. You have to learn. You want to read all the books. Basic books, it feel, save the cat, whatever you want to read. Read, but you will have to be extremely disciplined about writing. Mm -hmm. Like 9.30 morning, if you got to be there in front of that Microsoft Word or FDX, uh, sorry, Final Draft, you got to be do doing that. There is no mm -hmm. other way of doing that and sometimes it's going to be really boring, sometimes it's going to really challenge you but there is no other way out. You just have to be at it and probably that will shape because I don't think I'm a, I'm like the most like talented writer mm. but I think I am like a writer, deed writer. Like mm. you know you just get to it and you just be at it right. and that's how story will form its shape and I think that's eventually how Kamiyab got made. So once I wrote it mm. and then I, 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 I was uh, co-writing Trapped, uh, sorry, I was actually after Lutera post-production had done, I sent the script to Vikramaditya and um, for like a couple of months I didn't get any reply and I still remember 31st May 2014 he called, he said fantastic script. I was like, what? And, and he said that, let's do this and we have to make this. Huh. And I was like, oh God. So that's how uh, then we started say, saying that how to do it and hmm. who to do it with. Hmm. And um, earlier I was wanting to call it Kalia, hmm. which is basically based on Viju Khote sir. Yeah, of and, you know, of course. The, the legendary henchman. Yeah, you know. yeah. So when I was meeting, meeting a lot of uh, the subjects actually and Viju Khote sir, really gave me some of the best best anecdotes like you know mm. he's, he's such a wonderful person to talk to so he yeah. was talking about uh, the, this fact that uh, you know 40 saal baad bhi abhi airport pe milte to oh, wo kali aa rahe ho kitne aadmi the <laughs> and he's like abhi 40 saal ho gaye kya kitne aadmi the matlab you know <laughs> so so yeah i mean that's how we thought of uh, taking the journey ahead and then of course Nobody else but Sanjay Mishra sir was in our... He's uh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's I think lovely. he had done, done Masan at that time also. Right. And of course, Akho Dekhi had just come before. So, mm. I mean, all that led to that. Led, you know that Sanjay Mishra of Golmal and the Sanjay Mishra of Akho Dekhi, if we can combine. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, what's the day in your life right now like? What's your biggest struggle? Uh, to release Kamya. Mm. Is Why is that a struggle? Uh, I think right now, the theatricals are, have gone into a little more, you know, the large scale historicals and, you know, the yeah. event films, uh, the Marvel, the super heroes and all. So for a small film, it is, it is a struggle. Um, but having said that, we have great avenues now uh, with Netflix, Amazon, Hotstar and, you know. So I think uh, if we can find that voice in between some of that, whether 
a good theatrical like i think 18 showed us some really good uh, normal small films but actually yeah. you know they cut through they cut through everything and box office numbers and number of screens yeah. and all of that yeah. so i think there is a way out there somewhere uh, we are right now traveling to festivals mm. so hopefully kamyab will come out in may june somewhere nice. so we can expect that so yeah. what's your next project i'm actually quite wanting to go a little mainstream now uh, so i have actually um, i'm doing a film with madoc films so and there is rajkumar rao and varun sharma in it so how exciting yes so how I'm, exciting yes and rajkumar is somebody who i've always been wanting to work with he's and fabulous yes and yeah. i was an assistant on queen right. then i co-wrote trapped so you know i i i've just been around rajkumar somewhere and yeah. then i just wanted this to fall in place so yeah um, uh, mrigdeep lamba and uh, dinesh vijan they both are co-producing this one and uh, it is also a horror comedy so it's going to be a lot of fun and <laughs> yeah i'm and the story is superb the, the it's your the, story no no it's mrig uh, mrig story okay and uh, mrig and gautam they huh. have uh, written together and it is a fabulous fabulously funny script so i'm really looking forward to do that and we should be shooting in july or so buddy when you say hardik that i want to go more mainstream yeah. um is that driven by your natural impulses because you grew up in baroda watching yeah. a lot of mainstream yeah. or is that sort of the logical next step as a filmmaker moves up uh, i think it is because of the the kind of organic growing up that has happened you know that um, if i have grown up only on mohra mm-hmm. then uh, you know i mean the 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 east european or the european cinema is something that came later which kind of helped me to shape myself mm. but uh, having said that 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 voice has to kind of have a balance between both these worlds Maybe. and right now uh, the the market is quite open to do new braver things you know uh, and also have that bit of indian mainstreamness attached to it yeah. Yeah. so i think somewhere there we will find our voice basically if yeah. if we can tell our stories we can combine the two yeah and yeah. with a little bit of that uh, world cinema voice also hmm. but also kind of you know not that kind of alienates our audience also in a way right that might be the 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 next uh, step forward so yeah i mean like like there is a saying that you know that uh, make uh, your documentary like fiction hmm. uh, make, your, make fiction your fiction like documentary right. but i have a little addition to this that huh. make mainstream like mainstream you know so <laughs> <laughs> there is a certain way that you know the the audiences and the money that is riding the star who is coming on your sure, film you sure. know some kind of deliver to that and that kind of you know also takes you to a better front that you can do something more challenging next time yeah listen i'm a huge fan of mainstream uh, <laughs> yes to cheese badi i must must shole you have written the book on that, so. <laughs> yeah. so i'm all for mainstream yes. more power to you hardik and good luck Thank you so much. Good Anu. luck. It is my first interview at uh, Film Companion. It's my first ever video interview. How so lovely! So I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad that it has happened with you and Film Companion. Thank you Thank and you so all much. best. Thank you. Hi, I am Hardik Mehta, and if you have liked this interview, please subscribe to Film Companion. Uh, that is one website that I daily visit, even the Insta stories. So please.